Hey, what's up guys, Marcellus Williams, aka The Swole Faster, Educational Health and Social Well-Being, and today I'm going to be giving you guys my honest review of the Inzer sleeves, the A7 rigor mortis sleeves, and the Iron Revelry sleeves. You guys know that I've been using the Inzer sleeves for a while now, since a little bit before Nationals of last year, and you know, a lot of these companies now are trying to kind of upgrade their sleeves to keep up essentially, so you know, I ordered the Iron Rebels a few weeks back and tested those out. And then you guys just saw with today's training footage of my squats that today I used the A7 rigor mortis knee sleeves. I'm pretty much going to be like, you know, reviewing them and comparing them and giving you guys like my honest feedback on which type of sleeve I think would be best for you based upon what type of squatter you are or like, you know, comfort level, everything of that nature. So let's kind of get right into it. So to start off, I think I want to kind of get into sizing just so you guys have like, you know, um, a reference of kind of how the sizing kind of works, at least how it did for me. So in SPDs, which I no longer own, own a pair of SPDs, but in SPDs, I wear extra smalls, right? And then in the stoic knee sleeves, I can size down, as most people can size down um, by one, or some people even two, but I usually recommend sizing down one in whatever you wear in SPD and stoics. And I can wear an extra, extra small in the stoic knee sleeves, which I still love these. I use these still for like, you know, like if I'm going heavier on belt squats or if it's like just a super, super light uh, squat training day, I still think stoics are a great sleeve. As far as I guess like the old generation before like these new type of sleeves have come out, I think stoic win wins out um, even over, over SPD, just in the sense of like quality control. Like if you have a, if you have an OG pair of SPDs, those are great, but I feel like since then SPDs kind of had a quality control issue where like, you know, some sleeves are thinner than others, or you might get one sleeve that's kind of thick and one's kind of thin, but Stoic overall is pretty consistent. So I did want to go ahead and at least uh, expand upon that. So yeah, um, extra small in SPDs, extra, extra small in Stoics. I wear a small in the Inzers. I wear a large in the Iron Rebels which, you know, that's pretty interesting. I'll kind of get into that later. And then I wear a medium in the A7 rigor mortis. So we're going to go ahead and start with the Enzers. So from the moment that I got these, I love these. Those of you who have been following the channel for a while know that when I first got the Enzers, I actually got the extra smalls. And those worked well <laughs> when I was walking around lighter. Um, but as I got heavier, they just got really, really uh, unbearable for me as far as like keeping them on. I had to take them off constantly. And it was just one of these things too, where it's like squatting in them didn't really feel comfortable. So I ended up going to the smalls. And I've loved these. I really don't have a lot of complaints as far as the Enzer knee sleeve. It feels really good, great support. It's a lot, like, you know, overall seems like it's a lot more material compared to uh, some of these other sleeves, like comparing it to the Iron Rebel, it's just a little bit more material overall. My biggest issue with the Enzer knee sleeves is kind of like just the overall shape and sizing of them. Cause they fit really, really well on my quads, but there's always like a little bit of space uh, as far as my calf, at least until I start getting a pump, then it kind of fills in, but still it never like feels like it's fully conformed to the leg. Now, if you're somebody where you, you know, you have big calves, I do not, then it's not anything you really have to worry about. Um, and I don't think you can really go wrong with the answers. I do know that some people had issues um, with like, you know, the seam on the back tearing over time. That seems something that started to happen with my extra small pair, but I kind of wrote that off as, okay, um, these are just too small for me in general, but I know some people who have sized correctly where they haven't had issues. I haven't seen too many people have that issue recently. I feel like they kind of worked on it in the past few months to get that addressed. But bottom line, if you have um, bigger calves overall, then the engines are probably going to feel great for you. No issues as far as that. Um, I would say with these and really with all these uh, newer knee sleeves, there's not really a need to size down. You can if you want to, but in my mind, like the reason we had to size down with sleeves like the Stokes and the SPDs is kind of just because like the material they were to kind of get the tightest compression you want. But with these types, it's not so much about just having it be as tight as possible as much as the actual material itself. Um, and this ability that you get from it that really makes a big difference. I'll also say that I've noticed a lot of people who have like tend to have like a super wide squat don't seem to love these very much. Um, I think part of it is just at what point they kind of feel the pop out of the hole. It's a little bit different with the inserts compared to like normal sleeves. Um, like you might not feel that pop immediately right out the hole. If you squat really, really wide, you might feel more about halfway up. Whereas if you have a more moderate or closer stance, you'll kind of feel that drive immediately after the hole. So those are my thoughts as far as the inserts. Now, next, just going in order in which I got the sleeves, the Iron Rebels. I hated these. <laughs> I know a lot of people like them. I have, uh, you know, I have a couple clients who are using them, but the issue I have with the Iron Rebels is these are so unbearably tight. Mind you, they're 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 easy to get on and off. Like I'd say they're even easier to get on and off than my small Enzers, but they're just so unbearably tight. I'm talking, forget, oh, you take a couple squats and you feel like you have to pull them down. Just walking around in them or just leave them on for a few minutes, I feel like I had to take them off. Like completely cutting off my blood flow circulation. Um, 
and, and not even just like, oh, it feels numb, but it feels like, yo, like something's wrong with my leg. That's how tight these were. Um, and the thing is, in, as far as the sizing chart, I could have gone with a medium or a large. So I went with the large and it still is just incredibly tight. And from what I've heard from clients that have used it and then just my own experience with them, these don't really break in. Now, mind you, if you're somebody where maybe you just have like extremely small legs or small calves, like even smaller than mine, then maybe this will be the move for you. Or if you're somebody where you come from an equipped background and you're used to um, like, like knee wraps, then maybe these will work well for you. My thing is, I could probably go, for example, for like, like an extra large, right? Or an extra, extra large and have it work. But in my mind, if I'm getting a knee sleeve and I'm having to size above what it recommends, that's that's kind of crazy. And mind you, on the site, it makes it very clear that, hey, these are super, super tight. I've seen people have to like cut these off. Um, and like I said, I love the ways these fit on the legs compared to the answers. Like they conform to the leg very well, tight around the quad, tight around the calf. But the issue is that, man, I went technically a size up from what I could have been in and they were still just unbearably tight. My client, uh, Michael C., got his at the same time too. And it's just like, they weren't breaking in. They're not comfortable. And it's just not worth it if you have to take them off literally after every single set. Like, it's one thing if you can get through a few sets and then they'll break in over time. But these, from the time I've gotten them, have not broken in at all. So, not a huge fan of the Iron Rebels. Love the way that they can get it on and off pretty easily. I love how tight they feel on the leg. But it's just, it's just, it's just unbearably tight. So... That's kind of the issue that I personally have with the Iron Rebels. Like I said, if you get a size, like if you have like a certain shaped leg, or maybe if you size up enough, then it can work great. But in my mind, it's one thing if I have a knee sleeve and I can size down, but I would never want to have to size up in a knee sleeve from what the measurements recommend for me personally. Now, that being said, the A7s, which I used today, and right now these are probably at the top of my list. I love these. I absolutely love these. So the um, rigor mortis like cone shape is it's awesome because it literally feels like the Enzers in terms of like, you know, obviously the same type of material, but like it feels like the Enzers in terms of like the support and stability that I'm getting and kind of a little pop and drive of the hole that I'm getting, but they conform to the leg very much like the Iron Rebels do. Like felt very nice and tight on my quad, nice and tight on my calf, but not so tight to where it's unbearable. Like I can tell I'm still going to like need a few sessions in to break to break them in a little bit more to where they're like 100% comfortable, but they don't feel any worse than what the Enzers did when I first started using those. Like it's it's really nice because it almost is like how the extra small Enzers felt, but without being unbearable. But it's it's kind of like the best of both worlds for me. It's like cool, it's got the the it conforms to the leg the way the Iron Rebels do, but there's no issues as far as um you know, just not having to take them off constantly. Like I rolled them down a couple times towards the end of like my later back down sets, like on set three and four, but I had to do the same thing when I first got the Enzers. And I know that these actually will break in over time because everyone that I've talked to has expressed that, yeah, for like, you know, four or five sessions, they kind of break a little bit more. Not so much to where like, oh, now it doesn't feel the same, like the same type of sleeve, but they break in enough to where they feel comfortable. And these felt great today. Like, and I didn't even technically have to take them off. I just did because I started to feel like a little bit of numbness, but nothing that was like insane or made me feel like, yo, this is like way too much. It's ridiculous. So I really loved the A7 sleeves personally. Now, as far as like, do I think the A7s are better than the Enzers? I won't necessarily say that. I think for me, the reason why I really like the A7s is just the fact that they do conform to my leg better because I have smaller calves. If you're somebody where you have bigger calves, you'll probably love the Enzers. Or if you're somebody where you like to feel like there's just a little bit more material on your leg, then you'll probably like the Enzer as well. Um, for me, I'm always kind of been more like minimalist. I kind of like, like, okay, cool. I, I feel, I feel the support that I need, but it's not like excessive and it's not like overly stiff, even though all of these new, new sleeves, like neoprene are obviously very, very, uh, stiff overall. But yeah. And that's the thing within these neoprene sleeves, you're going to have, it's going to be like, you know, stiffer. Um, and they tend to be thicker than what you're getting with like, you know, your traditional pair of Stoics or SPDs. But with that being said, I think for people where you want a sleeve that probably feels almost like similar to an SPD or a Stoic knee sleeve in terms of how it's on your leg, but you're getting the same benefit that you would from an Enzers, I think the A7s are going to be the way to go. Um, and the best part is I don't think you need to size up or down in the A7s. I know that I had a couple clients who like, you know, they thought, oh, I'm going to get a large just to be safe. So it's not too tight. And it's like the large works well, but it's like, oh, I probably could have gone down to a medium. I have other clients where they tried to size down like to a small, where they probably should be more in a medium. It's like, okay, yeah, these feel good, but they're super tight on the calf. So that's what I like about the A7s is that I think you can just be true to size and you're good to go. You don't have to try to like size up or size down. Just take the measurements around uh, the quad knee and calf that they recommend on the site and you're pretty much good to go. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm not, I'm not trying to just <laughs> absolutely like, you know, crap on the Iron Rebels. But for me personally, I just, 
they were just too much. They were like really tight and really unbearable. And like I said, if I have to size up like one or two sizes above what the measurements say should be good for me, that's just excessive. So yeah, that's pretty much my honest review. And as far as like, you know, do I think there's anybody that's still gonna, you know, be good and like store for SBDs? I'll be real. The only people that I still see who are trying to like say, oh, I like the store for SBD more are all people who are sponsored by store for SBD. I'm not sponsored by anybody. So I'm giving you my honest feedback and review as far as these. I really feel like if you're somebody who's just trying to actually really maximize your squat, mind you, I don't think any knee sleeve is going to completely make or break you, but if you're just trying to have every possible advantage that you can, right, um, I think using equipment that can maximize your lifts is going to be important. And just like I said, the new, uh, the neoprene, the nylon type of knee sleeves, it's just, it's just better. It's just a higher quality sleeve. Like at this point, like a normal pair of SBDs or even the Stoics, like, you know, like I said, I love the Stoics. They feel good for like just training like bell squats or whatever. They almost feel, they just feel very thin like toilet paper by comparison. Um, and when you've used one of these new sleeves long enough and then go back, you can really feel the difference overall. Now mind you, there's going to be some people where maybe like just, you like what you like. The SBDs are what you've always used. You're going to keep using them. Same thing with the Stoics. I'm also pretty sure that the Sto that both Stoic and SBDs are coming out with their own brand of the new type of knee sleeve as well. Um, I think it would be very smart for them to do so. But as of right now, out of the Iron Rebels, the Enzers, and the A7s, for me, it goes the A7 rigor mortis, the uh, Enzers, and then the Iron Rebels are at the bottom. And I don't really have too much more to say <laughs> about the Iron Rebels other than the fact that, they, in my mind, they're just way too unbearably tight. But, yeah. That's it, guys. That's my honest review of these knee sleeves. I know a few of you guys have been waiting for a while because I was going to compare the Enzers and the Iron Rebels, but then I'm like, oh, well, A7's coming out with theirs too, so let me just wait, try all of them, see what works well for me. Um, the A7's are definitely what I'm going to be sticking with. My next week will be my week three, so my heaviest SPD of the block, so that will be a really good test since I obviously know what um, – you know, 500 plus feels like in the Enzers. I know what 500 plus feels like in the Iron Rebels. So we're going to see what 500 plus feels like in the A7s next week. But yeah, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go leave a comment down below. Let me know what you did. If not, leave a comment down below. Let me know what can be better. Like the video, share, subscribe. Keep it simple, specific, scientific. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.